Hi everyone, this is Derek again. Um, I want to talk today about uh, showing others compassion and love and um, being in mindfulness and uh, when it comes, if anyone not uh, watching, you're going through a hard time in life right now and you're stuck and you don't know what to do, what you should do, or you have, you know, sad feelings. Doing something good for someone else is the quickest way to feel good again. Um, whether that's, you know, opening the door for somebody or telling someone that they're, you notice that they're doing really good or they're looking good, um, giving somebody uh, a ride, give them a compliment. Any way you do it, helping someone out helps your own self in the short run and the long run. Um, when, we, when we have more love and compassion in our lives, our lives drastically uh, change into a nice field of love and joy. Um, you know, a lot of times with text messages, which I'm sure a lot of you um, would agree, um, we can take text messages uh, very easily uh, the wrong way and react negatively to them. Um, what I do now is, instead of acting negatively to a, a text message or what have you, I, I stop myself. And instead, I send a message um, a kind, loving message back, or a smiley face, or whatever, and I show, and I show some compassion. Um, because I remember that um, if I send a negative, uh, react negatively, also, that's not going to do me any good. That's going to mess up my whole day, perhaps a whole week, right? Because we get stuck in our behaviors and our uh, how we react to good and bad emotions through our thoughts so the more we can stay out of our own heads by helping others by being thoughtful and kind and not reacting negatively to maybe someone else's negative uh, vibes or reaction towards you, at least how you, the, how you take it. Re uh, mix it up, Mi react positively, or, or just, just not negatively, and surprise the person, and you'll surprise yourself, and you'll feel a natural high like no other. Um, even if it's uh, also volunteer work, uh, giving to charities, anything that's helping uh, others is helping yourself just as much. There's a, there's a very big joy return out of being compassionate towards others, understanding and loving. Um, everyone appreciates a good comment and gesture like, you know, compliments are big. Because you never know if someone else is struggling, maybe not wanting to even be in this world anymore, and you say something compassionate and nice to them, uh, that could possibly save their life or turn their life around. Um, you know, a lot of times, a lot of us, we get stuck up in our own heads, kind of in a, you know, uh, thinking about our own problems, which are, a lot of times, are not that big of problems, but they turn into bigger problems the longer we think about it. And so, another thing to uh, be, um, to pay attention to is uh, our thoughts, your thoughts. What are you thinking about, right? Are you thinking about negative things? Are you thinking about last week? Something had happened negatively last week or yesterday? Uh, anything, how someone reacted to you? or you feel like you were treated wrong, you have the right to have those feelings, right? Um, but I highly recommend 
be mindful of how that's going to uh, counteract your life and uh, your happiness. Um, the quicker you get rid of uh, past emotions, especially negative ones, the quicker you're going to strive forward and feel positive, feel vibrant. Um, you know, we're all connected. We're all connected through vibrations and waves. That's why you can take the tension, cut the tension out of the room with a knife, if you, with a knife, basically, as they say, if there's someone in there around you that's really negative, has negative vibrations, uh, you know, it's just a negative, it's just a quantum field. It's, you know, uh, so if you put out positive emotions also, th by thinking positively, you're going to create abundance, positive vibrations. You're going to attract people into your life, positive people. You may attract a love into, love into your life. But just what I do is I stay mindful of what's going through my mind. What am I thinking about? What is it what and is it worth me thinking about it? When it's negative or it's something um, some, someone might have done to me that wasn't right, um, I, uh, I choose now to not think about it. I move on. I'll even say to myself, I love them and, and God bless them. It's a good way to get them out of your head. Because now we, you know, we get more, the world's getting more mind awareness and stuff. We're more aware of what's going on. So uh, uh, do that and uh, just keep feeling, um, try to feel abundant, try to stay out of your own heads and stay positive and try to help others um, as, as much as you can and you'll help yourself in return. Um, you'll, you'll feel great. There's a, it's, it feels so great to help others. And it's a great way to get out of being depressed and get, to get out of your own head because there's, there's enough happiness in this life for everybody. And it starts from with, with how we think. Like as the saying goes, what we think we become, right? You know, so if you think of abundantness, you think of happiness, you think of good things, you, and you stay out of the past and thinking about negative things, you're going you're gonna to attract and create uh, love, wealth, abundance, and all of that. So I hope everyone has a great day. And just try to be, um, uh, if, if you uh, are struggling, just be aware of what you're thinking. Let those negative thoughts pass through your head like a guest and out and leave it in the past, right? And let those positive, embrace the positive emotions, embrace helping others and thinking compassionate, whatever it is. I hope you all have a great day and experience joy and be aware again of what, what you're thinking about. Try to drop those negative thoughts out of your mind and know that you can do anything you put your mind to. And ignore all the negative things that pop into your life. Let them fall out of your mind. Have a good day. You can uh, write to me at DerekNickerson34 at gmail.com. Um, take care. Bye.